Hi, everybody. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, and it's time for the weekend edition. And boy, we got so much to give you. Will Smith is ready to make you laugh. We're talking about this joker, which is so Philly. Will Smith is going to be doing sit downs with comedians, many documentaries with comedians. It's all part of Quibi. What's Quibi? I'm going to tell you about it in a second. But Will Smith, this joker, he's teaming up with his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, for their Westbrook Studios. Filmed in Las Vegas, it features new comedians, upcoming comedians, established comedians, and legendary comedians. It launches April the 6th, you're gonna see interviews, docu-style moments, 16 episodes on Quibi. Now you're probably saying, Auntie, what's Quibi? Quibi is a new streaming service and right now they're offering 90 day free trials. What makes Quibi different? It's short form videos, a streaming service that you can only see on your phone, yes, 10 minutes or less of original programming. They're rolling out 50 original shows starring Lena Waithe, Titus Burgess, Chance the Rapper, Jennifer Lopez, Chrissy Teigen, Kiefer Sutherland, Queen Latifah, Idris Elba, Kiki Palmer, just some of the names you're gonna find on Quibi. Really interesting concept when you think, okay, there's a lot of these streaming services kicking off. What makes this difference? The low price, $4.99 with ads, 10 minutes or less. Quibi is coming to your world. And Will Smith with his comedy series. Tracy Morgan fans, it's a new season of The Last OG. It airs on TBS. This season, it's gonna be great. You got Tracy Morgan, you've got Tiffany Haddish, you got my man, J.B. Smooth, Anna Horsford, it's gonna be a great season. The Last OG, the new season, kicks off on Tuesday. How hot is Rihanna? She's gracing the British edition of Vogue, and she really opens up. These photos of her are amazing. I've always liked Rihanna's style, but she talks about dealing with anxiety. A new album that's coming out, it's gonna be a reggae album, by the way, and, and she's ready to be a mom, whether she is married or not. Rihanna says she'd love to have about three to four kids. Let's talk movies. Okay, we're going through everything with the COVID-19 pandemic, and it's really putting Hollywood movies off. Later this year, we're going to see a lot of them. Let's talk Mulan. It's going to be opening in theaters July. Black Widow, continuing series in Marvel. That's going to be opening in theaters in September. Jordan Peele's Candyman. We got to wait until the fall. Top Gun Maverick with Tom Cruise. That's coming in theaters this Christmas. And Wonder Woman 1984. That's hitting theaters in July. Look for a lot of your favorite Hollywood movies. Eventually, they're going to come when we all get back to normal. Basketball fans, get ready for the last dance. In my humble opinion, ESPN makes the best documentaries. Well, get ready for the last dance. It's the 1997-98 season of the Bulls with Michael Jordan. What you're gonna see on this documentary, it's Michael Jordan's final year the championship, the dynasty. What was that year like and the pressure? Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, The Last Dance. It's coming to ESPN on April 17. Okay, so you may be home saying, what am I gonna watch on TV? How about the movie Uncorked? Courtney B. Vance, Niecy Nash, it's about a young man who doesn't want to be in his family's barbecue business. He wants to be a wine connoisseur. It's an interesting take. It's a funny story, and a lot of people are buzzing about it on Netflix, streaming now. Since the passing of the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, 
many projects are coming out. One of those is from the National Geographic Network. They were supposed to be debuting their movie, Aretha Franklin Genius, Memorial Day weekend. Well, it's been pushed back until the fall. This version features Cynthia Erivo, Courtney B. Vance, Mary J. Blige, Titus Burgess, and Forrest Whitaker playing the Reverend C. L. Franklin, the National Geographic Aretha Genius. It's coming to that channel this fall. As we look ahead to Easter weekend, get ready for the Clark Sisters, one of the greatest gospel groups ever, led by their mom, Maddie Moss Clark. This is gonna be airing on the Lifetime channel. And you know how we all love to joke that Lifetime doesn't get it right all the time? I think they got it right this time. Mary J. Blige, Queen Latifah, and Missy Elliott are the forces behind this movie. How do you keep these wonderful women together? Their strong-willed mother, who was already a gospel sensation on her own. Well, the Clark sisters, the story, You Brought the Sunshine, is coming to Lifetime, April the 11th. Issa Rae is returning with Insecure. Yes, it's going to be a new season. It's going to be a longer season. The adventures of Issa and her girls, and yes, Lauren's back. Are there going to be scenes that make you say, <gasps> of course, it's Issa Rae. It's Insecure. It's coming back on HBO next weekend. If you're looking for some new content to watch, let me tell you about Bay TV, created by Kyrie Terrell. Here's what you can expect. The hilarious series, Bay vs. Bay. But why would I order shrimp and grits when you're getting it? You know what? You're selfish. Are, are you serious right now? Yes, I'm serious. This is where Kyrie Terrell, Ronnie Graham, dramatize various relationship scenarios. Or if you're into fitness, how about Bay Fit Live, where they do it live and then record them so you can watch them later. How about Oh That's Love? It's an exciting new reality show about Kyrie's relationship and not the one with Rihanna. So check out Bay TV on YouTube. And you know what? Make sure you subscribe.